Hello, I'm Rob with the Bee. I hope you all had a good Christmas and got lots of really cool presents. Yeah, let me show you mine. So was that? Ooh, that's a big one. Yes, Roberta, it is a really impressive tool. And you know, with the right lubrication, one of these can go on forever. Now, speaking of lubrication, brings us to the topic of friction. In, in many mechanical processes, friction is the enemy, because the energy that's supposed to be channeled into a specific task, like making your car move forward, is lost to the system as heat. We're going to use this effect to our advantage to make fire. The first thing we're going to need is an energy source, in this case, me. Ooh. With an adequate fuel supply. Cheers. We're also going to need something to concentrate our energy, in this case our Stanley hand crank drill. Hello Stanley. And a target. For this exercise we're going to use a piece of wood. Thank you dear. And? And you're the best at giving me wood. Perhaps at this point we should head outside for some peace and quiet. Right, now there's a couple of reasons we use wood as our target medium. One, it's relatively plentiful. I mean, it's always pretty easy to get wood, right? Two, being organic, wood pyrolyzes. Woodland kingfisher. Now we've discussed pyrolysis in the previous video. But basically what we're able to do is reduce the ignition temperature of the wood from about maybe 800 degrees Celsius to about 500 degrees Celsius. And that brings it to within the realm of what we can do with manpower. Three, wood retains most of its structural integrity as we increase its temperature. Uh, it doesn't melt basically. It doesn't get all floppy stays hard even as the temperature gets hotter. And four, most importantly, wood is a good insulator. It has a low coefficient of thermal conductivity. Here we have a small piece of wood, what some people call a match. Even though it's burning over there at maybe 800, 900 degrees Celsius, my fingers are not burning yet. These physical properties are what allow us to use wood to make a friction fire. 